And we got Nate Cut flew in from LA. He's chilling on the couch as well. What's up? What's up, up, What's up y'all? Give me that. a high five, everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Yes. All right. Uh, Pound it. Let me touch your knee. Oh, just kidding. Ow! 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 Oh, CTE, bro. Yeah, CTE. CTE CTE. is real. No, that's serious, though. Welcome to Joy Tactics, the podcast dedicated to all things joyful, joyous, and meeting as many celebrities as humanly possible. Hosted by Eric Rahill, Nate Veroni, and Jack Bensinger. Enjoy. They would do a Talacast. What is, uh, oh, oh my! And you Wait, never did, did improv. That. That race never did improv. Sticks, and if, you, if you're above that, they just. Well, no. it's like Ghost Ship or whatever. Pirate Ghost Ship in that movie. The fire? No. What? Oh no! Instead of shooting people, what? It was a famous a, fire that killed a lot of people. Okay. Well, and this this is for killing tall people. Okay, gotcha. There's yeah. a movie called Ghost Ship, and in the beginning, there's a ballroom scene going on on the deck, and then this like cord snaps, and it slices everybody in the whole ship in half Except for and so the only person who lives is a really short person a child a child really? was it a child yeah there was no like dwarves on the ship and if there were they were busy well so because i mean look what happens when short people try to <laughs> unite in the past have you seen lord of the rings yeah One gimli yeah so kimberly many times gimli you oh. know they're he's trying to get they're in that mine and they're like where's everyone at the mines of moria the mines of moria okay yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. All right. the short people got together. They right. started getting a bunch of gold, accruing assets, right? Uh, making families, making a society for themselves. Mm. And then one of the tallest creatures in Lord of the Rings, Gandalf. the Balrog. Oh, the ba- yeah, right. Comes right, up and is like, "I did this. I took it out." And a tall guy is that- our savior, right here or right Hello. here. Hello. Wow. Uh, I imagine, yeah, Nate. We're we be would competing. be good orcs, though. I I'd feel be like. such a good. I would orc. be a fire oh, or, yeah. and you would be a good as fuck orc too, Nate. Yeah. Don't think fuck? you'd be the crazy white orc. You're not gonna believe this, but <laughs> oh, I white. was. Can you imagine that? <laughs> What's a orc? I was wielding a uh, an, a bow and arrow the the other day, when? and well, I have why? never shot a bow and arrow in my if life. If you were at and, the Joe Rogan compound and you didn't fucking tell me, man. I'm, I'm gonna not take what, that well. What were you hunting? What? Yeah, well, target. I was no. I was just outside. Just somebody had a bow and arrow, and I was so frighteningly good at shooting this thing. Wait, what that do you I was mean? Dipping into a past life, kind of. Really? As arrow? I feel like it. Yeah. Were you hitting? Was there a bullseye on the target that you were trying to hit? Yes, and I was and hitting. And I hit it, it like shockingly. Like I had three tries, and I got two out of the three. What hey. you gotta do is take that down to the fucking freeway. And just start blasting cars with that motherfucker. Man. Well, you, what you do is you take you pull up pull up next to uh, one of those speed cops and you say, yeah. "I'll handle this shit." Yeah. Start taking tires he, out. He yeah. puts his little speed gun on you the arrow. It. it just zero 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 it breaks. Yeah, it. you're speeding not for long. Arrow arrow <laughs> through the jeep. You take out a wheel with one of those things. Oh, you could take out a wheel with almost anything. Check this it's out. Going Nate, fast you like girls? Love them absolutely okay. more than anything if, in the world. If you have if you have desires for a maiden, but she lives in possibly like a tall condo or something like that, mm. but with like the full like she's got like a little deck and mm. like the full sliding glass door, arrow little note that says I love you with your fucking Discord name oh. on it. Oh shit! <laughs> that shit. Right? Break her fucking window <laughs> through the sliding glass Bam, door. Your AirPods then... are already connected to the Discord voice channel. Oh wow! All of a sudden you're hearing ba doop. She's in there. Oh, wait a minute. Are you saying God. you put an AirPod on the end of an arrow and you shoot it into a girl's window That's into her better. ear? That's even better. Nate, you That's should do it. this to Kylie Jenner. If you really got arrows like that. <laughs> yeah. Nate. Pull up oh, snap. Kylie Jenner's you, think you think she's fire? Yeah. Uh, Nate, you should make a new persona called Urban Cupid. And what you do is you go around the city <laughs> with a bow and arrow. And you shoot like you know, I guess I don't know food. Oh at people you ju- but but you only hit celebrities. And guess what? If you if you did this to two hundred celebrities, one of them would say, "Hi," right, let's would say yes. Let's right. do this. I don't think Cupid himself gets to have sex with who he shoots the arrow. Well, he's a baby, so he's he doesn't baby. have sex. Well, he's, well, he's a baby, but he's hundreds of years he's old. Very mutual. Old. He's a hundred year, year old baby. Yeah, so well, he's he like has he can't fuck. He just acknowledges <laughs> it would be weird because right. he's like, I get it. I look. It's like Andy Milanakis. Like Andy Milanakis is celibate. Because he, he knows it would be weird if he had sex because it would look like no. a baby had sex. Andy Milanakis no. is not fucking? Andy Milanakis, Andy Milanakis is famous. If you look at his Wikipedia, it's sex life. There's None. just a number. Zero. Oh, his sex life tab looks like that. Sex, <laughs> yeah. Do you think Hasbro will ever have sex? Well, my thing Hell is this. Yes. No, because he's uh, religious. He's religious. Oh. So oh. My thing right with Hasbro, and no disrespect Hasbro, 
Actually, no, I what? he doesn't like women. He, so I'll and, he fu- and he fucked him. with that cat. You he saw that. With that cat. Oh, he yeah. slit a cat's throat. I think Hasbullah should start do, should make it OnlyFans. And so we can have that as sort of like a legal alternative, like a legal safe alternative for like perverts okay, and stuff. They can just watch Hasbullah. <laughs> oh my God. Right. right. Okay. So how about this? How about this? What if we made Hasbullah's OnlyFans? Oh, uh, like forced him? Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't saying that really. Okay. I guess you're right because he'd have to be involved. We can't just ha- say yeah, we're ha- just, we're happy. Yeah. But on we it, could, man. you know, what we could do is we could but. do a scam. Mm-hmm. Is where we do like a, like how people drop NFTs, but there's like really mm-hmm. nothing there. It's like worthless. Right. Yeah. We could be like sign well. up, pre-order Hasbro's OnlyFans. Oh, that's uh, a good order. Ooh, Get it now on DVD. You know on the what? Wait list. I think Hasbro. I want to say this before we continue talking about this. I think Hasbro mm. has ears to the ground. He knows boots on the ground. He he had he could mobilize people in every major city to green dot fucking AR fifteen take us out from two miles away. Oh, n- not so, a chance. Uh, you don't yeah. think so? No, <laughs> I'd hurl him like a discus. <laughs> Well, no, he wouldn't even be there. No, he would but be I'd go, I'd okay, go to another continent. Discus has a gun in his hand, and yeah, when you throw it in true. the air, <laughs> I know. But it's really hard. Here's the thing about you throwing Mini Me. You, you yeah. know, you saw Mini Me try and fight Austin Powers, right? Yeah. Watch your nuts because they'll bite you. Oh, oh yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yes, I yes, remember yes. that. True. That was a violent scene. So, Brace, let me ask you this, brother. Well, well hold on, wait. Real quick. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, may I just? Of course. Because of course. For those who don't know, I feel like we're a little late in the pod to be explaining. We got Brace Bellin, a very successful podcaster. Um, got his start kind of in the Ivy Leagues, uh-huh. hockey. Brace, do you think it was a good time for us to start making a podcast Absolutely. in 2023? Absolutely, the market is hot right now. <laughs> and We're so the last Brace, one. How did you right. get into? I mean, this is what people. Hey, this is what people want this to people do. People want to know. Wait, listen, to this one. How'd you get into podcasting, man? Wow, that's crazy. God, that was that's a good a question, story. Jack. Thanks, Nate. Um, and is there? Yeah, what are you gonna say? Well, it's just something I've always wanted to do since I was a child. Right, because you were kind of like listening to sounds and thinking yeah well no I'm, tw- I'm 12 and so <laughs> oh, okay the for one of the first things i heard was baby genius baby mozart this american life um, wow. Radio Lab. oh that's a pocket yeah yeah and i came out just being like oh, i, I should saying. do this no i uh uh it, it's it seemed uh, really easy to do and let me ask you this. Are you, are you, cause I talked to you today. I, I said, what are you doing today, Brace? And you said, I was busy working uh-huh. on my podcast, That's researching. True. You are, this is not easy. You are, you are putting, putting in work. I will say our podcast, we chose, uh, uh, it was dumb. Cause I think a lot of podcasts, you can just get together and be like, uh, trying to figure out what a, like a labia is or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and for <laughs> me, if I, which I mean, I, just, yeah. I, you know, God forbid, but uh, I, we did it dumb. I, like, we did it stupid. Cause like now I actually have to, I have to like read a bunch of shit and like make up all these notes yeah. before we record. You tricked yourself into going to school. Yeah, exactly. And so we kind of do, we tricked ourselves too. We don't do anything like that, but I do feel right. like just the basic act of having a podcast is genuinely well recess as much work. Yeah. As what you're doing in terms of how much time it takes us to figure this stuff it's out. It's like recess. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What? Like, like recess. Like when you play. School's out? Yeah. What do you mean? You know, like, my, mine's kind of like going to school and like study, like oh, higher level, like grad school. We're still stuff. at school, but we're but at you recess. guys are like, oh, it's so we're like, there. It's like yeah. you're in first grade. You've had like a lot. We're getting of, smoked out at six. Yeah. We're peeing on yeah. the desks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And now it's, yeah. it's recess and that's when you record. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Oh, I see what you're saying. And we, it's making waves. Right, our nice. podcast is what you've heard from the yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Making ways oh, across. Cool. The you world. know, just the, just the other night, <laughs> I, I was night. I was doing peep. I was peeping, peeping. No, like peeping. Like I look through people's windows when oh. they're sleeping. Shit, you're peeping just like, to make I'm sure peeping. they're not yeah peeping. Brace. I'm like I, I pee. I don't peep in Tom. Like I don't look at naked people because I don't think right. that's. I think that's a huge violation. That's twisted. But if you're right. asleep, yeah. there's literally no harm, no foul. Right? Right. Why? Because you don't know I'm looking at you, so you don't have that paranoia for the rest of your life that there's a guy looking through your window. Right. You know what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. It's kind of like, you know, robbing somebody in a really small way. Yeah. Where it's like, did I lose it? Exactly. Like, if you take someone's phone or whatever, it's like, well, you can get a new phone. Right. Sure. So, like, what I do is I I peep and I look at people's apartments and shit and in their, like, bedrooms. Mm -hmm. And I see sometimes people have on the Bluetooth Joy Tactics. Oh, yeah. and so my I mean, God. this is just like this isn't numbers based. This is yeah. all anecdotal. 
But there this are is grassroots every based. anecdote this is, is a number. This is grassroots. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. This is democratic. I think there's a grassroots because the numbers that we've seen, uh, I don't I that's seem a little fake. underwhelming. That's they seem they, they're fucking with us to try to get us to stop doing this shit. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> Forget about yeah. that. Well, but if you talk to people, if you talk to students and workers, to people, blue, a lot of blue collar workers. And you should talk workers. to people. That's one of the most important yeah. things. Talk to people. Yeah. Do we, this. Have the, we have the blue collar. Get um, the AirPod. We got the MTA kind of train uh, operators yeah. blasting it. Blasting it. As they. Yeah. That's who we yeah. care about, though. You know, that's who we want yeah. listening to this shit. Because you, ca- you take care of all the. Your podcast takes care of all the white collar Ivy League. Yeah, people who really want like, Yeah, people who want to get a haircut. They listen to your shit and. You guys are more like night school kind of people. Right. You know? We're night school. Until we graduate. School. Yeah, people who are... In conservatorships. Take an improv class to learn English and stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Brace, how many celebrities courses. have you met, dude? I've met three celebrities who, in my re- life. I met Clint Eastwood. Did you, met did you really? When I, was, when I was about seven years old, I met Clint Eastwood. What was he like? He was so fucked. I didn't know who he was, <laughs> but I had. There was this lady who babysit me and my brother after school sometimes, yeah. and her dad was a session musician, and yeah. uh, he was recording a session at Luke Lucas uh, Ranch, like George Lucas's. Like, oh, the Luke Skywalker compound. Ranch. Home, yeah. And, well, it's not. I don't think he lives there. I think it's like they're like they do like sound stuff there. Right. Uh, and I went there and I had to find the bathroom. I couldn't find it, and there was a guy smoking his cigarette inside, and I never, I never seen that. Mm. And I asked, uh, "Where's the bathroom?" And he's like, "It's over there." And that was cool. He's like, "Do you do you like jazz?" And I was like, "Yeah." And then I went and peed. And then everyone was like, "That was wow. Clint Eastwood." And you asked if he liked music. He asked if I liked music. We might never have known that Clint Eastwood liked music until Brace that is... just told it on the podcast. Breaking yeah. news. Okay, so you met Holy Mr. Shit. Eastwood. What was he? What films was he making back then? Grand Torino. Uh, I was uh, in. I mean, this was 1997. So I don't think so. <laughs> oh, but you were friends with my cousin back then. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was. I was. That's true. I That's knew. why you. Because he had a bowl cut. I probably bleep that out, but probably, yeah, probably should bleep his full name that what I said was, to show out. What but was? That, like? Your brother. Your excuse me. Your cousin did have a full full bowl haircut. Blonde. I had the same haircut. All right. All right. Good. Good for saying that because I, I was about I, to get rowdy I had in the here. Type of haircut where it went up like this, like a wall up in front. Yeah, yeah the Ricky Martin for years, and it would the hair would go down, like it would go like this, and then it would just I spiked it right for about eight years. I felt like I had this. I didn't change it to high that school. Because you were in some sort of gang. No, I had no friends. That's a gang. That's a gang, kind of gang. Having well, it's kind of family gang. gang. That's yeah. kind of the original. What's the opposite of a gang? gang? Having nobody. Hmm. Hmm. Damn. Yeah. Wow. So if you're in a gang, you got someone. Oh well, this is a positive message. I want I want all the the gang members who listen to Joy Tactics out there to understand. <laughs> if you're in a gang, stop doing what you're doing. Stop. Stop, whoa, whoa, stop whoa, whoa, whoa. doing it now. Whoa, no, no, no. Get out Why? now. No. What no. do you mean? Oh, you want them to keep doing it? Yeah. Well, Jay, you don't know what they're Jay. doing. I know what they're doing. I live. I was in that life. Yo, no, you know, not, not the gangs that would listen to us. Really? Yeah, they like they do good stuff. Oh, it's like positive. It's like we got like the yeah. what do they call the angels? Angels of death. No, no, the guys that wear <laughs> that the red berets. Doctor Mengele. Doctor Mengele. Yeah. What? You were Doctor Mengele no, in a that gang? Was the angel of death. No, who's the guy? Who who are the guys that ride the subways with baseball bats and have? Oh, bats? you're talking uh, yeah. about Curtis Sliwa. Curtis Sliwa. Sliwa. We actually had Sliwa the goat. Do they have him in L.A.? Nate, you're dressed like Curtis Sliwa right now. You are dressed like. I have Curtis no idea who that is. That's somebody who took matters into his own hands, and it may have not been a great idea. So, what are the Guardian oh, okay. Angels? So, Guardian, Guardian Angels, Angels it was just like a, he was just like a, I guess a psycho is the word you would use. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I guess. He was like a vigilante. I have to Google that. Uh, and started this group, Guardian Angels, who kind of dressed like a gang from the Warriors. Yeah. Like, they all had like red satin jackets and berets on. Mm-hmm. And their whole thing is they were solving crime that the police wouldn't solve. Like, they would be out there on the street. Uh, but, yeah. uh, they just like made up that they got beat up a bunch on the train and like yeah. wrote all these fake stories like in letters to the New York Post, which reprinted them, and it got kind of mm. famous for getting their asses oh. kicked. And they're still around. He keeps running for mayor. I, think. I remember seeing seen them it. in Chicago. They had a Chicago branch, and right when I moved to Chicago, I remember seeing one of these guys on the train late at night, and somebody else told me what it was all about. And I'm not kidding you. I was like, thank God for them. <laughs> literally made me feel so safe that these guys with baseball bats are right there i was like well we got to make a new school awesome. one that's kind of what anonymous is yeah anonymous Anon. is the curtis lee was of the current moment is anonymous still ch- 
Who is anonymous now? Exactly. Well, exactly. 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 What, that's what that's I will what they find want you to anonymous think. out. I think what there should be is there should be sort of like neutral angels, like guys who kind of wear yin yang mm. stuff. Yeah. And it's like oh, if mm. they think there's too much crime in the neighborhood, they'll do good. But if they think the neighborhood's getting too nice, they'll fuck with it. Fuck they'll let know. Purses. They'll blow out the windows. Yeah, that's of the interesting. Matcha people shot. Away, take your lunch money. What did you call them? Neutral, neutral angels. The neutral the angels. angels. The yin yang gang. Wow, I would get um. I would go see <laughs> Neutral Yin Yang Gang is good. Yin Yang Twins. Well, Yin that's Yang already twin. a rap group. <laughs> What's that? It's the Whisper Song. The Whisper. The Whisper, for the Whisper. The Whisper Pod. I will Grace, say... I have a question. What? Yeah, yeah. So I, th- I'm really interested in your kind of perspective on this because we're three idiots, or we're 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 three idiots, and we talk about aliens a lot. And uh-huh. I feel like you are really tapped into, you know, the Pentagon and what's going on in the fucking the cut. What do you think is going on with these UAPs? I, I want to hear the informed, like not person who just listens to like tiktoks and and that type of shit what do you think is going on with this shit for real what the hell is this is this our technology is this from another universe what the fuck is going on are you even interested in this shit man i will say one thing i i hate aliens fuck no no no, fuck i'm not even kidding i fucking hate aliens. i think i'm just like they're not what are they what are they, what do you want if you're here what do you what, what are you gonna take mm. oh you you, you you you're not you're not hating the idea of them you hate uh you hate them i hate them like you, they're you, real they're here and I, you hate them I, I, if they're real or not real i hate them yeah. i hate them if they are wow. real even better because then there's something for me to focus my energies against but now hold on a second this, man. all those because i saw those navy videos yeah, yeah. i saw those yeah. navy videos I don't know what the hell that is, but right. my thinking is there's a lot of shit up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stars. Like, what? Stars? Yeah, star. Well, I, it was clouds. Videos of stars. I don't think. I think it was. Oh, because they were pointed downwards. Yeah. 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 But I don't know what the hell that was. But um, I think probably most of them are weather balloons. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. But my weather buddy balloons did that can say, move at 900 miles an hour was going like this and interesting. Have you ever seen really <laughs> fast wind? Well, you no, you can't see wind. You can't see wind. I haven't Checkmate. seen it as wind. But you can see the effects of wind as <laughs> a flag waves and et cetera, et cetera. I don't know what the hell it is. Right. No, yeah. Nobody now, hold on a second. Really. Because, but is I, it a- uh, well, let me put you out of your comfort zone for a second. Okay. Well, that definitely is doing it. All right. Well, I apologize for that. Let me put you that. out of your comfort zone. I am comfortable in this zone because I'm a combat, a hand-to-hand combat guy. Okay. <laughs> However, if you, all I would say, this is Joy Tactics. I hear you saying you, you hate aliens and blah, blah, this and that. And I would just encourage you to consider a scenario, right, mm-hmm. where you say that and an alien hears it and they unzip the, you know, dark matter right in front of you. Yeah. And they pop their little head out and you see that they got one single tear coming down their face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't and it's an like, ugly that alien, might mean too. something different in their culture. Okay, but they that could mean happiness. Okay, but then, mm. but uh, in this ver- in this moment, they kind of say like, "Brace that, fuck me up." Well, I don't know what "fuck" means in their culture either. It means the same. They're communicating in your language. Yeah. All right, and then they take a fucking knife out and they put it in your fucking head and they say, you know, how, you know. So it doesn't have. So it came all the way to Earth in a fucking spaceship that defies all matter of physics. And yeah, it only has a knife. Of. Well, it's then I'm play- disarming well, his it, ass. Well, all right. Well, all right. It's a knife, but it explodes. Oh. Well, it's something bad's okay, gonna happen. No, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Like so the whole point, knife? Of, it's like a, it's, it's like this, the spatula from the first episode of SpongeBob, but it's a knife. So, all, I've, <laughs> all I mean by all that is to say, why not love, man? Like, why, right. why hate? I can't why remember. Hate oh, you said because it's my because you want to be left alone, or is I don't it because... want it here, man. I why? Don't want it here. But why? What's it doing here? Maybe it's well, maybe, learning. Maybe, maybe it's learning. Yeah, maybe. like how you fuck? go into the it pool. It can go all the way across space and yeah. probably time too, and it's learning. Space is time, but yeah. What is it learning? Because we are a science project, y'all. Remember this. That's we true. don't know where we came That's from. True. We are we're most seeded. likely a science. Pro- we are the seed. Human we're seed the seeds. theory. We're human the seeds. seed theory. Don't even get me started. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> we are seeds. Don't go ahead. Don't go. Don't be around a graveyard in thirty years. That's all I'm going to say. Because trees are coming out with legs on them. <laughs> but hold on a second. <laughs> Consider this. Okay. Yeah. Next time you're on the internet, right? You like to go on the internet. Oh, well, just yeah, sometimes. And you are researching for your podcast, right? Yeah. It's called True Anon. It's on 
the internet. But what do you ever consider that you are learn you are going to learn something? You are an alien going into the cyber universe and maybe there's some pixels or whatever's in there that are feeling like, you know, there might be a little brace type of pixel that's like what the fuck is this motherfucker doing? Yeah. Everybody said, you know, all the letters on Wikipedia looking at each other, talking to each other, but saying I, like, here's the difference. I fucking hate brace. Here's the difference, Jack. When I go to any website or even simply refresh the browser, I pause for a moment. I put my hands together mm-hmm. in a mudra, a symbol of power, and I honor that mm-hmm. website. Mm-hmm. I say, I, I look at it and mm-hmm. I say, I honor you. I see what you're saying. I honor the knowledge that you're imparting on me. Imagine oh, this, Jack. Imagine you are on a, you know, it's college, you have a few weeks off, and your parents gave you several thousand dollars to go to Paris, France. Wow. To go to the Louvre. And you stumble upon a house party full of beautiful women. And you go in there, and you stand in the corner and say, I refuse to talk to you. I refuse. I refuse to talk to you. I'm only here to observe. And then Mm. one of them might Mm. say, one of them, maybe one particularly beautiful one says, I hate you. I fucking hate you. I hate mm. that you're here. I hate that you're looking at us. I hate that you're standing there creepy, not and talking, you. and you're rushing around in the air like that. And I hate that you're putting lights out. I hate that you're abducting people from rural areas. I hate that you hang out mm, with the government. Mm. I hate that you your big eyes. I hate that you cry because I don't like you. I don't like you. I think you should. I don't want you here. Go back to Alpha Centauri. Fuck you. Fuck you. There's nothing at the Louvre for you. I hate you. I wish you were dead. I wish you had died en route to us and we just got your spaceship, didn't get you because that's the worthless part. How would you feel? Uh, sad. Yeah. Wow. wow. Wait. I'd be like, damn, the hose is mean in Paris. <laughs> yeah. But hold on a second. Imagine <laughs> I don't think I followed that entirely. Like, ah, I mean, yeah, but, and like, wait, so you're saying, yeah. <laughs> let me just say this. I don't think because we were just talking about the guardian angels, right? These ama- this amazing force of men and women <laughs> yep, yep. that are changing the city, cleaning up the act of all yeah. the fools that political are political gangsters falling into hedonism. Yeah. What if a- what if uh, aliens really are the guardian angels of the universe? And mm. we don't we don't know what aliens are. It could be uh, computer yeah. robots uh, from other planets. We don't know. Yeah. But there's still and that so issue. Why don't, why don't we lead with that uh, benefit of that? Where whatever well, is out there is protecting us and that but, loves us. But what if their laws are different? Well, here's good, the, good because we need every it. every law is di- you know there's no such thing as laws yeah, really. That's true. But what I mean, but right. the thing is, I hear what you're saying, and that is a really good perspective because what you're saying is no, I'm not going to be disrespected. Yes, it's joy tactics. Yes, I'm going to seek joy no matter what. Mm-hmm. But I have boundaries, right. and if my boundaries are crossed, there's no joy. You can't just you know fabricate that. And if somebody was hanging out, we were all hanging out at a party or something, and they were you know, being a weather balloon yeah. or just kind of floating there. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you're Right. About. Well, this, you know, just in the way that aliens are interacting with us these days, yeah, if they put a bag over Eric's head and shoved a rod up his ass and then Eric woke up and said, yo, some fucked up shit. You're right. I, would I wouldn't be, believe, I wouldn't like I would that. gaslight you if that happened. You would? Yeah. Well, if it happened right in front of you, Nate. Uh, yeah, I would still. Uh, Nate, I think is the only one who would be co- waking up Nate. out of his bed at midnight to come to my defense with whatever <laughs> weapons he could find. Nate, what would happen to you if you're walking through with you're walking through a you're walking on a mountain in Los Angeles, mm-hmm. and a little green man in a rocket ship comes above you and abducts you into his lair, and <laughs> looks at your asshole. <laughs> and you get to, you get sent down to Earth. Looks at it. Looks at looks it. At yeah, it. Just, All right, there it is. <laughs> like, doesn't put anything up in there. He just he's got big eyes, and he just kind of like leans one in yeah. there, opens your cheeks with his little fucking three fingered hands. Oh Damn. Like, Damn. Checks Sticky it out. Fingers. Spitting in it too. Spin it. No, he doesn't oh, spin it. Oh, Nate, Nate, Nate. Nate, you take things sexual in a weird way at any opportunity. Well, we don't know that that's sexual because we don't know what we know it's sexual. Yeah, we don't know what sex is to them. We don't know what sex is. They probably gave up sex. I don't want to hear it, Nate. Because to me, sex is a conversation. Right. And I like that, yeah. The dialogue. For most people who went to college, sex is a conversation. Yeah, Yeah. sex is a conversation. College is one of the most sexually healthy environments on planet planet yeah. earth that's why they invented it to me to me so to me like 80 adhd things like that mm-hmm. attention that, that to me that's an std 
Woo! Hmm. Think about that. Yeah. Think God. about that. ADH, STD. But it, so wait, why? Wait, but why? Because to me, conversation can be more erotic oftentimes than the sexual experience itself. Do you, mm. do you think there will ever be a cure to ADHD within our lifetimes? There is one. What is it? Well, it's diet and exercise. Yeah. But the yeah. sad yeah. truth yeah. is they're never going to tell you that. And they're yeah. going to. Right. The way, they're no, they're trying the way, to ADHD medicate doesn't us. even exist. They just want to sell drug, drugs. It's mostly from Boca Burgers. We were talking before the, the podcast you know. about the unhealthiness of veganism. Yeah. And how we're being lied to by the vegan, major vegan. 100%. Uh, powers that be that it's actually better for us but no beef is good for you yeah you live in LA you ever drink a green juice of course all the time are you kidding me do you feel good after drinking that Nate, what'd What's you that? eat today? What'd you eat today, Nate? Bre- break down your diet today. My so- diet today was well. I started off the day with not eating breakfast because I was fasting, of course. Of course. And at around uh, two p.m., I had a smoothie. What did that smoothie consist of? Bananas, peaches, flaxseed, cacao peaches. powder. Um, you know, we're going walnuts in there. We're getting um, goji. Mother- we're, no, we're not doing. We're, we had some chia seeds in there. Where's and the protein, we're getting, Nate? We're starting out the day right. You know what I'm no, saying? No, 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 no. Where's the protein yeah, where's in the, the protein? shake, Nate? Oh, that's Nate. coming. That's coming later. With a big rotisserie chicken. Type of me- oh, okay. that's lovely. That'll do the, it. Yeah. Well, He's, here's yeah. here's a little tip. You put a little sliver of chicken in the smoothie. In the next smoothie. Time you, make it. you won't even taste it, but <laughs> you you'll get that it, protein. But you get all the protein from it. And if you do taste that's, it, it'll taste better because chicken meat. Is essentially thick chicken stock, and chicken stock is used in everything. It's soup. That's it's right. a bouillon. Chickens are walking bouillons. Bouillon yeah. cubes. I fuck with bouillon cubes. We're, we're we're breaking down the diets of all our guests. Everybody, what you what you, you want to know? What I ate today? Yeah, badly, badly. <sighs> well, I woke up of course four a.m. Sure. Did you really? No, I did, but that's because I went to sleep at three thirty, and I wake up like I always, I have this fucked up thing. I have parasomnias. So I what wake up, I, I mean, I sleepwalk, oh, basically. Oh, oh. So I wake up like every night about an hour, hour and a half after I actually fall asleep. And oh. a lot of the times, I, I'm not joking, I, I'll, I'll sleepwalk and I'll eat. Mm-hmm. And so I had to stop buying any food that could be just eaten without having to be prepared. Uh, but I had some nuts in the back of my fucking, I had some, <laughs> uh, well, I guess cashews in the back uh-huh. of my fucking um, uh, cabinet. And I got that shit out and I ate a little bit of it. And so do you have a faint memory of eating? Yeah. And I'll wake up at the end and I'll just like be in my kitchen. I'll be like, it's weird because it's like I'm not fully asleep. It's like 85 percent asleep, 15 percent awake. So I'm like, I know I'm doing something, but I don't really know what I don't. I'm like, this is good to do, even Mm -hmm. though I don't eat late at night ever. I might be doing that right now. Yeah. No, this isn't real. Oh, don't start saying that to me, man. No, is, don't say that to me. If the lighting is too fucked in a situation and someone says it's not real, I... I don't believe it. Do you ever, well, yeah. do you ever okay, wake so up you, from one of those and, and um, like, is there any chance... Because do you ever wake up in another room that's not the kitchen? Yeah. Oh, no, no. I, I mean, I've been... I've woken up and I've peed in the toilet before. No so do you else. ever think... Do you, is it... You might be... Eat, do you think you maybe are eating other stuff as well as food? No, because I'll usually wake up while I'm eating. And I, I okay. won't have the wherewithal to like open, like it has to be like in a cabinet, like right there or something. Like I won't have to be right. able to like open up the fridge and make something. Okay. But you're never waking up on the BQE like screaming. No, 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 no. And so it's like it's the doctor says it's stress, mm. and so like or like mm. like uh, it's somatic, and so like there I do other know. shit too. Who's do you have? Do you go to a typical doctor? Or do you have you thought about? Yeah, he, he, then he told me to go to another kind of doctor, like a psychiatrist. Which I just mm-hmm. I'm like, well, what is he gonna? T-? I looked up what the cause of this is, and I'm like, well, he's just gonna tell me I'm stressed out, so I'm not gonna go. And what are you doing? Are you med- You know, Nate meditates forty minutes a day. Do you actually? Absolutely. You want to see how? Look, look at let's that look cross-legged. Right now. I can't cross-leg like this that. This is gonna blow your mind. Last month, I have this app. This is not counting. Let's see here. I meditated for 14 hours last month total. Good wow. God. Jealous? Wait, that doesn't sound like that much. Do you are you happy? Um, you know what? I I feel like I have to do it to 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 kind of get to the base level, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It brings me to zero. I've tried to do it before and I I I have a hard time meditating. 
so it's just difficult it is yeah. difficult to do but you just well, gotta you just really have to stick with it but it is yeah, it's highly yeah, beneficial eric, yeah eric struggles with it too. i'll be honest i kind of don't do anything <laughs> good for myself you don't do anything good for yourself <laughs> like well i mean maybe you in seem the like broadest you're in good, definition you dress shape, nice good. i'm wearing all denim and you have no undershirt because you're going no to a undershirt. party lady because you know different party. kinds of denim that's cool I, you know that's good that's for not, you. but that's not nice when's the last time you had a vegetable Oh, earlier today. There you go. So you got yeah. that nut this morning, then you got what? <laughs> <laughs> you got that nut in. <laughs> that nut last night. And then I had some oatmeal this morning with nuts put in on purpose. Okay. Purposeful nut. Purposeful and so you nut. got you That's got nice. plain you got kind of the raw oatmeal. No, it was cooked for sure. <laughs> It was definitely cooked. cooked okay, but milk, because the otherwise it's just oats. You're, right, it's not really right, oatmeal. Right. Right. You don't want that. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. fascinating. Uh and then uh then I had uh Pita Palace. Delicious. Right and you got the chicken here. shawarma? I got the kufta. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Ooh, the kufta. I wonder, oh, I want to go eat some of that. No, I'm probably closed. That's what? wonderful. It's, well, thank you. Did you have a Okay, I got a question. Coke? Enough of this fucking food talk. We're done with food. We're People done with diets. Nate, it's every part time of this whole thing, right, Nate. In answer People to this, I don't know what you're going to ask. Gay son for sure. We, we <laughs> gay son for sure. Because if daughter? I wanted a thought daughter in the middle of that, I could be like, you got to start wearing dresses now. No, no, no. Okay. So, Brace, a a nuclear bomb goes off near you or something and the whole the whole world just is collapsing. Answer's what still the, the same gay son. <laughs> Who are what you gonna that, save first? What is your move, dude? My move? You know, a lot of people made fun of duck and cover. Like, oh, oh like, yeah. oh, that's gonna like protect you from a nuclear bomb going to your desk and right. go like this. Here's my thing. Anytime something scary happens, no matter how big or how small, catch my ass going like this. Ducking and covering. Oh, you there he back is. to the egg. Back doing to the, the egg. prison move. Back to the prison, prison move. Egg. Life is prison. <laughs> wow. Not a bad idea, John man. Weak. John, John Weak. John Egg. Yeah. That's good, y'all. I go down there. I make myself as small as possible in case that the devil that lays inside that nuclear bomb passes over me. You're saying Smart. that a bomb, oh. every nuclear bomb has a devil that land, opens yeah. when it opens. That's not an <laughs> atom. It's a guy in every, there. And he goes, <laughs> no, no. Every <laughs> instrument of war or or violence yeah. comes with a little devil and a little angel. So every bullet has a little oh, devil and a little saying. angel in it. And it hits you. And in that moment, they mm. kind of bicker and they see what's up with you. They either take you to heaven or down below. Wow. Whoa. Wow. I thought you were going to say, like, the devil goes to the civilian, the angel goes to the bad guy, the yeah. soldier, the bad soldier. And I thought, but you're yeah. saying the bullet, they once both it's inside, got, yeah, they yeah, both got in it. that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, they okay, check okay. it out. Because that's how they can get to know you better, <laughs> by being in you. Oh, damn. Like an alien. Right. Like an alien. I thought you were saying that there's a devil and an angel in the bullet, and it hits you, and then you either become evil or good. Let like, me ask you a question. Okay, man. Who do you think would win in a fight? Hillary Clinton. Boondock <laughs> Saints? Oh, my. The cartoon? Ooh. There's a cartoon? Uh, no, no, no. The Boondock guy. Saints? Yeah. You know what the Boondock Saints is. Movie? Yeah. That's the, you're talking about the Boondocks. Oh, my bad. The Boondocks. Ooh. That's an amazing that'd be a show. Crazy, that'd be a crazy match. The Boondocks though. versus the Boondock Saints. <laughs> <laughs> versus... Actually, you know what? That's because that's kind of along prison lines there. Yeah. Yep. Boondocks versus Boondock Saints. I would say the Boondock Saints... Would lose. Well, whoever has oh, weapons is going to win. They would lose because the Boondocks are all very short because they're children, and the Boondock Saints might not understand that cartoons are real. Have right. you seen the documentary right. of the making of Boondock Saints? No, it sounds incredible. It is. Have you seen this, Nate? No. Have you seen this, Jack? No. This I don't is, even know okay. What you're the about. Boondocks. You know what the Boondock Saints is? No. It's Willem Dafoe and like these two. I forget who the guys the, are. Two yeah, kind of. They didn't do anything. Yeah. But it was kind of like a one-time hit. Yeah. That came out in like what, the late nineties? Yes. And it's about these two they're angels? No. Or no, I'm thinking of dogma. You definitely think of dogma. Okay, but the no, but they're like hitmen. <laughs> they're like hitmen. Yeah. They're Catholic. <laughs> they're Catholic Irish Catholic hitmen. They're Irish Catholic hitmen. With the... badass tattoos and they drink. Yeah. I fuck with drinking and, and the guy... check this one out. What that, from what? Boston. Boston is a city as well. And the guy who to wrote and directed this movie is maybe the funniest person you'll ever see in your time. He's so, like, fucking horrible, toxic, screaming on set. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's just expecting, like, millions. That's like us. That's funny. I mean, he's expecting millions and millions of dollars and multiple more hits to be coming down the way. But that was the only that was one it. that ever worked. Hey, man. Never, ever. Well, 
What were you going to say about the boondock? You were going to say a situation? Say, oh, oh boondock- question. Well, you can answer this question, but for then, <laughs> Nate, have you seen Boondock Saints? Yes, of course. Both Boondock Saints. John Wick. Oh. But you have both Saints coming from different doors. Uh, John Wick. John Wick, easy. Yeah. I mean, John Wick has yeah, killed course. hundreds. He's a mass killer. He's a ma- He's Yeah, he should be in prison. I guess he really should because who is he to judge the moral uh, value of a man just yeah. because he got wrapped up in yeah whatever the so yakuza kills your dog or whatever and now you game. Get to kill thousands of people. Yeah, it's not it's not up to one. Person. I kill dogs all the time. You kill dogs all the time. I killed a dog. I killed. No. A do- I got a dog in me. I got that you got, dog. Well, you in got me. them dogs. I on can your take feet. care of that. For I don't you. know what. Um, no, I don't want to take care no, of. No, but my drive. I sit. No, my my whole thing is this. Have you seen those videos of those Boston Dynamics dogs? Yeah, they yeah, go yeah, do yeah. backflips on the on in a police car or something. When those things eventually get unleashed on us, yeah, mm-hmm. a lot of people are gonna hesitate. Because they're like that reminds me of my dog at home, Rex. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. We'll all God. have Boston Dynamic dogs. This time. Well, all our dogs at that point, who knows what creatures might look like? I'm, I'm playing the new uh, Resident Evil Four remake right now. That's awesome. And I never played it before. I didn't play the original, but I thank God because the dogs in Resident Evil Four are so fucking nasty. They got like you teeth that them. go all the way back to here, and I, oh. and I'm like, I feel thankful to, to the developers because whenever I have to kill a real dog in a game. I hate it. I yeah, can't do like, it. Why, yeah. why do I gotta kill, kill this? Wait, what? Video games have you killing a lot of dogs. I know. It, I know. I'm playing. You don't really ever fucking... have to do that in re- like more oh, people have well, to kill people. That's the beauty of a video game. You can lives. turn the dog. You get it's fantasy. You know. You don't want to thank God. But, I don't have to. I get to log into Halo and shoot a fucking the yellow lab. But right you never now. have to kill cats in video games. Interesting. Right. Uh, no, you don't. And you What's know why that is? Why? Japanese people respect cats. Mm. Mm. Right. There's great respect what is it the about Japan. Egyptians do too? Exactly. Egyptians, all, all what is it about Americans? Video games come out don't... of Egypt. Prince of Persia. Right. Remember Jake Gyllenhaal playing the Prince of Persia? Mm-hmm. Remember mm-hmm. him in Jarhead? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That one was fun. You know he lives in Brooklyn. Does, does he? he? Yeah. That, that's that, that's who's so supposed to make the Brace Belden movie. If I yeah, saw him on yeah. the street, I would be like, "You fucking racist!" Fucking, I would. Lay my eyes out. What did he, he do? Prince Why the Prince of Persia? <laughs> what was he racist about? The Prince of Persia. He was cast. Oh right. The Prince oh of Persia. right. Yeah, they oh, should have right. had a real prince do that. Yeah, they should have right. had exactly. a He's not it. royalty. That's why. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Well, I, my, my whole—they th- made a Prince of Persia movie. Where he's just running and jumping all the time, left and right. Dude, check this out. They should have had Prince of Persia and Tomb Raider. Laura oh. and it's Laura. Like the first half of the movie is Laura Croft, and she's like going through. Oh, this dude! Oh, tombs. dude! Wow. Well, welcome to the production company because shit. we have I hella ideas about well, how we want to fill in the gaps between different movies. Yeah. Right. So yeah, that yeah, yeah. could be a movie. Because all movies those exist two. in the same universe. The yeah. universe, yeah. by the, the way. The, the, There's the, only one universe. Yeah, that's the thing a lot of people don't understand. The is Marvel the whole universe. universe is just the expanded <laughs> the multiverse, right? right? Like, Dude. like the the world, the universe, the galaxy that we live in. Is yes, is the galaxy the, all these movies take place in? Correct. Right. Well, not the galaxy, but the the but universe. Universe, but in fact, perhaps, yeah, so to speak, hundred percent. Glad we got on the same page on that one. <laughs> So you want to talk about unions. I mean, lately, I know that you have a deep labor union connection. Uh huh. I mean, there's articles coming out about Scabby the Rat. They're saying. <laughs> yeah, what are they saying? What are they saying? You know, exactly. that's got to be, that's got, that can't be oh, right. They try to make it illegal because he's too mean. Why is, uh, yeah, because Scabby, Scabby the, the rat. rat is the giant inflatable rat. Oh, I know that. that. You rat, drive by like a, like a Macy's and sometimes. Yeah, I walk right in. Yeah. Yeah. You, you walk into the rat. <laughs> I walk into the rat. Shake their hand. <laughs> used to be. Right. Got any cheese in well, here? that's the thing is it used to be just like this inflatable rat, but now it's like getting to the next level. They're, you know, they'll have sign flippers. Yeah. yeah. So now they have people who get in Scabby the Rat costumes and just go and start smacking on people walking by. And really? Making oh, them dis- making disrespect. Yeah. Violently and like talking shit, mad shit about the company that they're outside that's of. That's tight. Yeah. And so Jimmy Hoffa was a union guy. Is that right? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. what they want you to think. His son was actually in charge of the Teamsters until like three years ago. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. That's and good. Jimmy and Hoffa, his... you think they got his ass like they did in the Martin Scorsese movie? I don't. That uh, movie was too long for me to remember the ending, but uh, I do recall that. Uh, well, he yeah, he, I mean, he was murdered in the movie by Robert De Niro. By Robert De Niro, it, it Robert De Niro and my killed bet, him in real life too. You know who's watched that movie, The Irishman, over probably forty times? Ben Briggs. 
Shout out to Ben Briggs, one of the disciples of... um, He would just leave it on while he's working, like, as if it's the Sopranos or, like, uh, as if it's, like, the Simpsons or something, but just the Irishman on loop. When I saw that movie... People like the half the theater walked out because it was so long. <laughs> like, Wait, you saw like, it in theaters? I saw it in theaters. Yeah, it was. It had a limited run. Uh, I thought it came out in the pandemic. No, no, it crazy? came out before the pandemic. Yeah, it came out before. Oh, like yeah. a year before. before. Uh, my buddy Paul watched Tenet something like fifty-five times. No, 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 no. Yeah. What did Holy you crap. see, Tenet? I did. I did not like what, it. I I couldn't even. I didn't like that other bothered. movie he made either. I well, can't remember the other. But you're movie. gonna like the nuke one. Oh, dude, Oppenheimer. Oppen- Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer I like all movies. I like anybody who makes a movie. That's true. I don't dare disrespect anybody who makes <laughs> film. Not even for a second. When I first moved to LA, I I told people that I I moved there uh, because my uncle like recently had to like step down from his business, and they were trying to bring in like new like kind of like woke young blood there. <laughs> and through the course of the conversation, I would make it like very apparent that the uncle I was talking about was Harvey Weinstein. No. <laughs> You're kind of a social trickster. You right? and people. Well, I had two lies. You got that, that I told. dog. That was one in of the you, lies. Grace. And the other lie, which was I actually regret telling, and I want to preface this with I regret telling this lie okay. to how yeah. many people I told it to. <laughs> All right. The other lie, because I told this lie to a lot of people, uh, was that I had a uh, sexual experience from Phoebe Bridgers. From. <laughs> yes. From. From Phoebe Bridgers a long time ago. I didn't really know who she was. You just would tell, and this was how long ago was it? People were like, "Oh, what? How come who you is moved that? here?" Yeah, she's like a uh, singer. No, I, yeah, and uh, who got famous for sort of writing a song about like her big hit was about she was kind of like a Me Tooing song. Is she the one who did the for, song for Pharrell? Happy? No, that is um, <laughs> that is someone else. Okay, what was you thinking uh, of? I told people I told people that I hooked up with Phoebe Bridgers and was rude to her after in 2013. What the hell? And, what? And, and, you, so you kind of meet yourself? To, the, the, the reason I, I sort of, well, I didn't say I did anything wrong. I just said I was kind of You were kind of afterwards. rude. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. And you feel bad about and it. I felt bad. Well, no, it's, I didn't feel bad about it. Can you do it for us? Yeah, okay. Dude, Bryce, hey, Bryce, what's up, man? Good, good to see you. What you, are dude? you doing in LA, oh, man? I feel up, like man? you're never out here. Is it because, what's up, man? Are you uh, honestly getting into that? It's imp- kind of a funny story, but it's like a, it's, it's, it's like 2013. Okay. Uh, at the Hemlock in San Francisco. I love that place. I hooked up with Phoebe, Phoebe Bridgers. Oh my God. From what? Uh, the singer. The singer. From oh, okay. Boy Genius. And it was like, this is like before she was famous. And I was kind of an, I was like doing a lot of coke at the time. I was like really kind of, I was kind of an asshole that a lot of people, I'm sure you remember, but like I was an asshole to right. her as well in some pretty ways that I would not normally be, even hmm. kind of when I was being a dick. And, um, you know, my buddy plays uh, in a band with a guy who's in her band, and she's writing a song with my first and last name in it Whoa. about the incident. And I moved here to try to kind of like prevent that from happening, hmm. um, but it hasn't been working. It's like really, apparently it's like pretty far along in the process of getting put out as a song. And so I'm kind of just like here to like, I don't really want to be in San Francisco when this happens. I don't really want to be here when this happens, but I- I'm freaking out pretty bad. Oh, nice. What neighborhood are you in? Uh, Highland Park. And so then people would be like, really aghast. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Yeah. Awesome. Well, and okay. People would be really aghast. And then I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm lying. That is the and then people crazy. would think I was just lying about the, that's the reason I moved here. What? They would think that I actually right. did hook up with her and was a dick to her in 2013. What do you think I is kinda inside do. of you that prompts, prompts this? I, I don't, I, I really, I, I don't know. I, my whole life I've told people like, lies that made me look really bad but just that to were, see their reaction just, yeah that was just like i'll tell you one i used to tell people after we stopped recording because okay. it's too it's too naughty to well tell. do you want to do it and we'll bleep it do you want to do it oh you know what tell us right now and we'll put like a really dope song for people people to listen to <laughs> yeah are you serious yeah go for it no but you promised me that yes you'll bleep we, it. yes okay well, let's so just tell it afterwards <laughs> no come on let's bleep it out so with when i was all right, so all when right. i was young we I'll be the first to say that I was wrong. Hold on, no, I'm probably much too late to try and apologize for my mistakes. But I just want you to know. I hope it burns your flowers. I hope it holds your heat. Give your all his 
When he shares the chance Take it to every party Cause I remember how much you love to dance Do all the things I should have done When I was your man Do all the things I should have done When I was your man Nah, yeah. she probably just had a retainer. Wait. All right, let's get back to it. Let's oh get my all right, God. we're back. Yeah. If okay, Jack that was. <laughs> we just played the entire uh, 444 Jay Z album, and we're back. Uh, <laughs> I hope you liked it. Oh wait, okay, Brace. I want to ask you this because I feel like you you deal in the dark. You you uncover the darkness a little bit that's out there for the mm. elites, for uh -huh. the celebrities. Thank yeah. God. What advice do you have for whatever three young up and coming? Potential celebrities uh -huh. that might be tempted by the darkness that's out there. And do you suggest that they fall into it for a second and then get out or that's a, yeah. Yeah. Well, I will say this, Jack and Nate are young. Yeah. You are not. And well, I think that youngest, you need I'm to I kind of internalize yeah, that. Wait. <laughs> well, I think, what do you mean? Like, that, cause you guys are both kind of have like a child, like, Oh, okay. Oh, but I have the older vibe. No, but you're physically older as well, like temporally speaking. No, but Eric is young. Eric's the youngest. But he looks old. Okay. And so, but you, okay. and both of you look But Nate's young. the oldest. Yeah, but Nate looks, but, uh, I mean, Nate looks like. Nate like looks a like, how old do I look, Brace? Nate, Nate, <laughs> Nate looks like, Nate looks like a teenager who started like taking like HGH Nate, or something. Okay. You, know? you do look really young right You look like you took right a little now. too yeah, much you look like a cherub, man. frankly. It Me? It kind of backfired. Uh, I grew too much. Yeah. Yeah. No, and but. I'm looking, what, 40? I mean, like <laughs> a busted forty. Well, like a little higher, and but so, you know, like like silver fox kind of. <laughs> well, so, so, okay. so does I'll that not mean that Eric is more suited to be in the Illuminati? So this is what I'm saying. Oh, this is what I'm saying here. My. Get on what the you need to do, yeah. and don't Nate, Jack, don't listen to this. Okay. Okay. All right. Just like talk. Tune it out in your heads. Just Let go mm, in your heads really loud. All right. Sell them. Sell them to people. Sell these two. Yeah, sell them to anybody you can. Organ harvesters, oh, uh, magicians. My uh, God. Sell them in in Tijuana. You can listen again. And that Nate, did you hear that? Fred, you and think? I think through that, like, because you only one of you statistically, you have about a thirty three percent chance of making it Hollywood. Everybody knows that, right? How many? How many? Thirty three chance. Thirty three percent chance. Thirty three percent chance. Thirty three percent chance. Man, that seems yeah. high. <laughs> that seems That's high. Good. That seems high. That means but, all three of us. But could check do it. this out. Thirty three. Well, there are three of you. Yeah, and well, so only really statistically, that means only one of you can make it. And in Hollywood, it's it's not the law of the streets; it's the law of the jungle. Only the strong survive. Oh my God! Yeah. So you're saying yeah, as soon as yeah. one of the as soon as one of us ascends, sells a TV show yeah. or, or a movie, we're gonna have to kind of like fuck each other over. So you, I'm, I'm just getting this sense that you're trying to break us up. And well, I feel like right. the podcast is kind of the, the one thing that we have in this world that has right. denied us in so many ways. Not well, we've denied it really because the offers yeah. coming left and right. Yeah, just not the right thing hasn't come up. Yeah. Um, what's up with that, man? Because I feel like. Well, I mean, let me ask you this, Jack. Okay. You think that what you need to do is talk, right? You do stand up comedy. You do a podcast. And I speak all these on things. All them, you yeah. speak on these things. Tuning out the news. Tuning out the news. Stephen Colbert presents. One thing that I noticed that you, you haven't done, though, is sing. Mm. I've heard you sing, but I, I don't would think never, you've done enough. I, I don't it. want to sell that, though. You don't want to sell that. I know, because that's I don't want to impurify to it. And, and what you will do is you'll sell your talking, right? You sell your talking like as if it's fruit. And... <laughs> No one has ever made more sense to me in my life than when you just said that sentence. Well, that is kind of I sell speak. my talking as if it's for fruit. Exactly. Okay, keep going. Because this is really important. Singing, singing to you. Singing to you, I can tell, is precious. Right? <laughs> Two ukuleles on the wall. Two yeah, ukes. Exactly. Exactly. And Jack can play those. Oh, you want me to play you a song? Jack, why don't you play a yeah, little why don't uke you play on the a podcast? Song and sing? This is what I'm talking He's about. He's been right begging now. for this moment for. This is crazy. Have you guys done songs on here before? Uh, we've done songs. It's mostly a musical. Like this. this is it's the first time we've ever like really actually. talked on the podcast. Right. It's mostly just kind of us singing and musical kind improv, of doing musical comedy. <laughs> you want me to hold the mic up to the? Oh no, you got, got it on your little knee there. Damn. New talent reveal. Jack just got out the uke. Let's go. Oh shit. The squid and the whale.
Ave Maria. That was gorgeous, that was Jack. That was beautiful. Good God. <laughs> what the hell, Jack? We're going to bleep that, that out like because that. I don't want to sell it. But this is what I'm saying, Jack. That's the most precious thing to you. And you need to sell that. A lot of people think they can just sell the stuff that's just like not that precious, like their jokes or like, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. their whatever, their labor or whatever. But what you need to do is actually you need to find the thing that matters the most to you, the thing that you keep locked up deep tight in your heart and that you think about and that keeps you warm through cold nights. And flip it. And flip sell it. That. Sell it. Wow. Sell it. Damn. You need to be, well, you also, can you be my maybe manager? Maybe I got to sell my, I yeah, would absolutely be a man- that Here's the thing is because for most of my career, I have been, I have been, I am a manager. Like I do manage like, I manage like, Sex workers, uh, oh. mostly. So you're like Andrew Tate, no, but it's like, like a southern one. I just, like, I just, like, I just like offer advice and like protection in exchange for a certain. Be careful what you're money. saying right now, because me and Eric will fucking kill you. <laughs> we will kill you on camera if you're saying that you're doing crimes. I'm not doing crimes. You just said you're a sex trafficker. I, I didn't say trafficking. <laughs> what did the you only say? Traffic that goes. What did you say? Fe- websites. So you, but you control the websites, man. I don't control the websites. I'll put my fist sure in your mouth. I'll put my them. fist in your mouth and I'll start spinning around like a blender. I, my mouth can open up so wide. All right, man. Well, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. The <laughs> one that you won't give what to the I'm aliens. Sell, saying, what I'm saying is, Nate, I'd, I'd, I've, I've really thought about going into talent managing. Okay, I well, I will be you, your first client and we'll take over Hollywood because I, I want to say I am so down to betray anyone. And I don't care if I'm like brothers with us, you. Nate? 100%. Yeah. I will take you down if it means getting to the next level because that's what it takes to be Absolutely. successful in this fucking See, I don't business. have this in me, though. And I really. feel like, I yeah, exactly, you. Eric. And that's why you're going to fucking fail in this in this mm. fucking town, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nate, what what amount of money would you betray someone for? Nate, what's the dollar price for you <laughs> to shoot me in the head? L- lowest dollar price. Yeah, low, lowest Burrow's dollar price. Immensely talented actor shot his wife in oh, the wait, head wait. for free. Wait, William what? Burrow. Oh yeah, yeah, he did. Which is crazy that he did. But that. he he was pretending to t- shoot Bullshit. a target. Right? <laughs> I mean, that's he what said he was going to shoot an apple off her head. That's what that. That's what they wrote. He shot her in the face. What a fool. We, Nate, we do not ship William Burroughs. We do Burroughs. not do that. We okay. do not stand him. Yeah. I don't know who that is. He sounds like a political history figure uh-huh. from history. But Nate, would you? What role would you need to be given mm-hmm. in order to rip my fucking teeth out of my mouth with your hands and then shoot Eric? Easy. 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 This is the uh, like you know the movie The Joker. Yeah. Which but one? Yeah. The the penguin version of that where it's me it just okay. stars the penguin you would need to be the star what you wouldn't would do it dark, for a what simpsons would dark penguin be like voice acting guest role what would dark I penguin would, be like my penguin would be like i would i would be sh- like kind of shrink myself a little bit shorter than danny devito's penguin and i would kind of be <laughs> on my knees with like shoes and i would be <laughs> like I, I feel like i would <laughs> tap into an animalistic <laughs> type of voice and behavior <laughs> and walk around like that and be method method wow. hella method. see i'm i'm picturing more for nate like the skeleton the skeleton penguin oh. kind of an emaciated yeah. like sick penguin oh, like tall penguin tall <laughs> fucked up penguin tall, that got penguin. kicked Crazy. out of its family Are because it was tall? all a freak no but the penguin if because everyone expects the penguin to be yeah danny devito right. but if they made a penguin movie and the penguin was six foot three who drank smoothies yeah Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah wow yeah, the, the chicken bone, smoothies coming yeah. out everywhere that which way in that oh snap the youtube Damn. fitness influencer penguin when <laughs> yeah. gone, gone wrong <laughs> well he'd be a pescatarian you know he's fish he oh he's the fish yeah. eater oh the fish eater and well they got colin uh what's his name feral feral as the new penguin i would say I for me that. if because what would you how would you guys do penguin well what's the penguin's whole thing is that they kill Batman? Oh, oh Penguin just really, he just looks weird. Yeah, he's, he's just in the sewer. Guy. He has he's got webbed hands. Oh, he does. He's got webbed or hands. In the Tim Burton one. He does. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, he's kind of a physical mutant, but he's just ugly. <laughs> mostly. Mutant. So he's an ugly yeah. guy, and what's yeah. his deal? Yeah. Like, does he try oh, to kill hates, Batman? He hates Batman, and he, he hates Batman. He hates the rich. He hates yeah. the because no, he is rich, isn't no, he? No, but he was orphaned and he was shipped. He was put into the sewers by his rich parents. Oh, he's oh. like Batman. He's Batman like, have more like, in common uh, than Batman Michael thinks. Bloomberg. Oh, They're yeah, he's orphans. kind of like Bloomberg. Mm-hmm. Michael Bloomberg. So that's how you would, you right. would do Penguin Bloomberg. Yeah, I would do Penguin Bloomberg, where I try to run for president and I just try to buy everybody out. That right? was a baller move. Where he said, "What I'm going to give a billion dollars to anybody who runs for what did he do? <laughs> just it's, I think he said he would just finance anyone who ran against Bernie. I think he only won Guam." 
That's it. Oh, don't say only, Guam. man. Don't say okay, only because that's a where big the one. hell is Guam? Nobody yeah, talks west, about Guam. Pacific, west. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. yeah, dude, but, we should talk about islands. The Marshall Islands, <laughs> the <laughs> Solomon <laughs> Brother Islands. Yeah, well, because well, I know Solomon it's a loaded islands. question. Okay, the Solomon oh. Brothers. Solomon <laughs> Brothers Islands. Brother Solomon. Is that what you're talking about? That movie, Brother Solomon? I don't know what that is. I think Solomon Brothers is either a bank or a suit company. Are you sure I'm wrong about this? Definitely don't think it's the Solomon Brothers Island. (laughs) Well, it's going to be that. (laughs) Have you ever been to an island, dude? Yeah, what's happening? Is this like a about? Uh, no, it's not about. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. We don't. We're not bringing we that up. Not the going there. there. We have never. I have before. never seen brace with anybody that you know. Look, I've seen you a couple I've, times around I'm, town. I'm a mentor. Okay. okay. That explains okay. that. I mentor them. Okay. Boys and <laughs> no girls of America. I don't listen. I don't want any trouble. We don't want any trouble, bro. People what happened? roast on Jack Johnson, but I genuinely. There are a few of his songs, even the most recent album, where I vibed. I like it like that. It's good. Wow. Against music. all odds, man, because yeah, your crazy. taste in music, it's not, it's very you rare. You can't pin that, it down. You can't yeah, pin it down. Really you know, yeah, if an artist has a full human name, they're probably not going to get onto Eric's Spotify. I'll put it that yeah, way. That's right, except for Jack. I w- when I got interviewed, I got interviewed on the Sh- the Shen Yun TV channel. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I told them that uh, <laughs> it was the most beautiful music I'd ever heard. Uh I thought that like no music would fill the void that had left uh, that Avicii had left. Mm. You and said this like, yeah. live. I said this. Yeah, I said it was a CEO of a software company, and that like I've been pretty like down on 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 music until because after Avicii passed. Yeah. And then I heard the the music that they played during Shanyan, and I just it was incredible. What did Gosh. the interviewer say? She asked me. She asked me to repeat the name of the artist, and I said Avicii. <laughs> Can you repeat the name of the artist? Well, you know yeah. what? Because I, I, could, like, so... I was like really trying not to laugh. And I was like, Avicii. Oh, well, you're trying not to God. cry. You know, Avicii, we can still play with him through a video game. There's an Avicii video game. There is? We can play with him? How so? What's the video it's a, game the about? the Avicii beat maker. Oh, that's too Kinda cool, like man. Parappa? What is that? Parappa the Rapper? You know is that a dead like guy? A PlayStation game? Like, game? Yeah, you know. Oh, there you go, Nate. Well, Nate, well, you got to say something, man. We 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 miss hearing from you, man. Oh, yeah, damn. Nate, uh, Nate, do you have something to say about yeah, um, what you want to happen after you die? Do you want to be in a video game where people can keep fucking with you? I want my consciousness to be put into another creature or another robot. You know, <laughs> I want to. I want to have that. <laughs> I want to have the the into whatever, <laughs> even a even a dog yeah, or something like that. Like, I want my consciousness. What if, oh, dude! What if you got turned into a lowly goat? A lonely goat? <laughs> Take me out! <laughs> I said, lowly. my throat, milk me. No, 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 whatever. not not lonely, lowly. <laughs> well, you yeah. got friends. Oh, oh. But... Milk me. Have you guys ever milked a goat? I actually, the <laughs> you know what it feels like, man, because yeah. it's not. It's one long udder. Yeah, I'm. Oh well, they you got know, one titty. The goat. They got one. Wait, Eric. T- Whoa! It it looks like you're kind of jerking the goat. Eric, no. <laughs> Goats have six udders, like a cow. Not from what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fucked up goat have you? Like? <laughs> All right. Eric uh, has jerked off a goat. Eric, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eric. I literally remember it being one long, one, pointy udder. Yeah. That's that's a. I, I, I'm, I'm that's not a, like trying to joke. That's what I remember. But they got six udders like did a you cow. Do this, were you taking someone to milk a goat, or you saw what you perceived to be I an udder? I went to the Pioneer you... Town uh-huh. with, on a field trip. What? It was called Pioneer Town, and then they did all the things the Pioneer way. Where log cabins outside of Seattle, Washington, about thirty miles. And uh, I remember going and milking the goat, and it was. Just the one. Okay. Had that one. Where long was it? Udder. Were they behind a wall with a hole in it? Yeah. No, it wasn't a gl- wasn't a goat glory hole. A goat <laughs> hole. Where was <laughs> it? Where 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 was the udder on the goat? It was towards the back. Uh huh. <laughs> but maybe this is a false memory because literally I'm you told just many jacked off like, the goat, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, you so it start. was on the it was towards the back of the goat. You're a goat yeah, jacket. I guess. <laughs> I literally, this is How like long? a story what I've had in my mind What was, was the motion? Kid. Like, what did you have to do? Well, it's probably the Kinda same. Kind of had to pull it. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> You're not but fucking you gotta, with us? But you got, no, no. I did mean, I don't, it? I don't think I jerked a goat, but <laughs> I think that <laughs> but you think my this memory has other made it so others. that I thought that I jerked it, but really I just milked a female goat normally. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> okay. 
Well, you talk to your therapist, and we'll get back to <laughs> you it. You didn't drink it? <laughs> milk came out. A ton of milk. So it, All right. A ton? So it was probably a, a ton? ton of milk. About three squirts of milk came out. Here's what happened, Eric. Here's what happened, dude. You jacked off a fucking goat, and that That's goat true. had busted for years. That goat. And, was, <laughs> and it, was, it, was, it was keeping it in, Eric. It was kind of like it was edging trying to do for it to years. Get the, like, no, he was trying it. to get the test boost. Testosterone. And, and you I just ruined. You made that goat. Oh yeah, pussy. yeah. I've, that goat, goat jerk not. is international. Dude, yeah. you are a rare human. Semen being. retention, you have an experience that almost none of us have. That's pretty you special. had. You kind of had sex with an animal. You did. Well, you had sexual outer course with this with a goat. Sexual. It's <laughs> true. Yeah, it's true. No, no, I definitely milked one of the girl goats. Okay. Uh, okay. So you hooked up with two goats. Yeah, you keep thinking that. No, man. no. I, I, I listen. How memory is so pliable and so malleable that. Right. So you could. It could be more. Is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I guess we don't. I guess we'll. But never you don't know what a goat dick look like. Who looked like the goat? But it wasn't Should we me. Should Google it? No. Oh, yeah, I have too. a photographic memory. You do? Uh huh. When certain things are concerned. <laughs> when it comes to animals. I lived at a farm when I was in high school. Did you really? I did, yeah. And uh, uh, for briefly. And uh, we had goats there. Mm hmm. And you we were always checking I was out actually, I was, I, fu- I was mostly fucking with the, the, the cows and the you horses. You fucked the cow? No, but I did have to clean the horse's penis. <laughs> and it sucked. Horses' dicks Wait. are. How did you clean the. Uh, no. Oh, because it has the crazy sheath. It's got the crazy sheath. You just hose it. But you hose is, it from inside, like you spray it inside. I kind of, to be honest, don't really remember that well. But <laughs> I just remember hosing its dick like yeah. all over it. Was I think it someone a stud? Had to pull, it was, like, was it a stud? Uh, was that? No, mean? it was kind of a pussy. Oh, was that? Well, mean? a stud is used just for breeding. Yeah, no, we didn't have. It wasn't like a stud. Oh, okay. Right? No, no, this was just like an ornery, ornery horse named Prince. Ornery old horse. But it would get, it would get boners all the fucking time, and Jeez. you just have to. I would just spray the horse's dick with water. Those are crazy. Wait, you hey, spray it when it got a boner? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to get it to water. go away? That's a good tool. No, 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 no. Being a little right. up at night. I keep a water, a bottle of water by my bed, yeah, just in case. Just in case. Because a horse shows Take up. A, a horse shows up and tries to get nasty with me. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't want to go into this, but Mr. Hands, the video. The video I you have remember, seen that. Zoo. That was in oh. Enumclaw, Washington, which is uh, really? pretty close to where I grew up. Really? Oh, congrats. So, did you know the horse? No. I knew nobody involved. I, I didn't. That's the right answer, man. What happened to videos like that? There was like a oh, good still... early internet <laughs> sort of. That is true. Oh, they're, they're out there. That's true. Yeah, there was. I feel like I really. There stopped being viral, disgusting. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, it's true. There was like oh, tub girl, true. one yeah. man, one jar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, you one, know what? Two girls, one cup. And then after two girls, one cup. They were just None. like enough. Enough. That's enough. That's, too much. Uh, that's funny. Y'all I remember say looking that. at that stuff on my Wii. On your on Wii? Wii internet. <laughs> Whoa, you had a Wii internet? You had a Wii internet? I, what is that? I, I never even heard of that. Wii internet, and I remember I showed my friends whatever, all these horrible things. I don't know. I, they did I, that. I, I saw that. Uh, well, some of those happened after middle school, but middle school was the last time they let me use computers at school. Yeah. And I, we watched all that shit in middle school. Someone set my middle school math teacher's homepage to lemonparty.com, and it was uh, a very Christian school, and he was so fucking mad. <laughs> the Someone first, set the first my principal's webs- pool on fire. <laughs> Set the pool on fire they with oil? They dumped oil into their pool and set it on fire. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah. Somebody like a terror like, attack. We had to burn down one of Roman my biology tactic. teacher's barn. <laughs> what the and fuck? Burned down his entire like fucking property pretty what much. What is wrong and he, with this? And he was dude? really pissed off about it. As, uh, as I, will say, I will say there was also at my school, uh, at one point a teacher left class, like this new like really like earnest teacher who was like, because I went to like school for bad kids and like touched it was like a public school but you got sent there you got kicked out of the regular high school mm-hmm. and uh a student a classmate of mine was like i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell the principal the teacher had sex with me and then did and the teacher got fired no wow it was like My real bad kids God. that's not great um, we used to fake heart attacks all the time in my special needs class. Really? Yeah. You were in special needs class? Dude, that, oh yeah. I did it all, as many special needs classes as you could do, and then one year in a full special needs school. Uh, that's kind of my kind of, mine was like, it wasn't special, well, there was special needs kids there, but it was like half special needs, half Right, half kids. special needs, half, yeah, people Okay, who, so it's continuation school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It works, by the you way. You could smoke at mine. Um, ours in was class? just a bunch of trailers on a hill. Not in class. You could smoke in the like. Ours was also trailers. You could smoke next to the trailers. Oh, like, sure. Most of the kids smoke. 
I would say 100% of the kids at that school. And did you have, what was lunch? Because they don't have cafeterias. No, well, I only had to go to school for three hours a day. Oh, shit. Because <laughs> I had a job. What did you, oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, I just so I just went to school from nine to noon. And so at lunch, I left. And I didn't, have, there was no homework. Would your parents let you go home after that? No, I just, I went to work. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah. I actually, I only went to work for like three hours a day. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Three, three. So that's actually it's still six hours. That's idea. close to an eight hour day. You were working. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Well, school, we really do a lot in school. Well, with millennials, they're doing something called soft quitting or something like that. It's yeah, like, we don't play that. I hard quit. Yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm out of here. No, yeah, I actually you, really soft. You. I'm a soft quitter. <laughs> How, what? This is Eric quitting. <laughs> so sorry, you gotta anymore. go. Hate to make everybody feel this. Well, should we say what gave us joy this week, guys? Yeah. Let's say what gave us joy. You know, we end every episode this way, Brace. Mm-hmm. I do. I've listened to the show. Okay, well, what gave you joy this week, Brace? Oh, I have to go first? No, you can go no, last. No, we'll go, go we'll let you go last. Well, right. you go last. I, go, I mean, I'll tell you. No, 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 you should go I'll last. Start, I'll start, because nobody okay. asked me. I, I said, what did you guys eat today? What did y'all eat? Nobody you know fucking Eric, asked me. Let me ask you this, because these yeah. guys won't, because they don't care. Yeah, Here's they the thing, don't. Eric. I don't. Yeah. You know what didn't give you joy this week? What? Your co host I know they're always Whoa, biting wait, my wait, style. Wait, think about, no, wait, no, about, we're friends. You're dividing us. You're I know, dividing I know us you again. guys are friends, but like that doesn't mean <laughs> well, you have to work out. together. So like what <laughs> I'm saying is like, what if you just did a po- like, what if you did something that was kind of like a politics centered Twitch stream, and you oh. played games, but you also maybe in a corner watched. Hold on a second. You mean Hassan? Style. Don't you step on Hassan? The, I'm not Hassan saying that. Hun, I'm not saying that. Hassan Piker's Hassan, the number one Hassan only. Hassan Piker is Turkish, right? Eric, For now you're basically As he, he claims. He claims to be that, but I've never seen him in Turkey. I'm white, I'm y'all. Like, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, say that with pride, Eric. Yeah, uh, you know what? Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> and it, it's okay to be white. I know. I know. That's what say, I. No, say that. This. Say Let's that. Make this. yourself say that. Let's not do this, guys. <laughs> Let's well, say let, me just say this. let me just say this. Let me just. What gave you, you joy? Know what? We got through I the had thing. Salmon twice today, for lunch. And then I had it for dinner. Mercury poisoning. Don't. No, they don't put mercury in them anymore like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, all right, Nate. Nate, Man, dude, with the long know. foot. With that long foot. Look at that shit. Wait, oh, wait, my gosh. gosh. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let Brace smell on it. <laughs> yeah, sniff Brace that smell. shit. Get a little. Oh, oh you're going mm-hmm. the wrong way, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, what gave right. me joy this week was you know what you know what gave me joy is the, this website what? called piratebay.org because that Ooh, shit is oh, old school. Yeah. It's Ooh. it's what whenever I want to download a movie, it's always there. Like there's still a thriving torrenting community. It's that awesome. Wow. Is putting up every type of show or movie that you could possibly imagine, and there's always a couple cedars that are gonna you know, allow you to download that shit and man, shout outs to fucking pirate bay. Wow. Hey, you're kicking. about to, you're going to be going to prison for that one. No, I've already talked. They've already tried to get me. What? I That's got a letter in the mail because I downloaded righteous gemstone season two. <laughs> um, episode one and from AT&T and they said quit this they right said, now or we'll next. file legal are you action. serious yes it was the awesome. it was like righteous wow. gemstone underscore s s o one two episode e, dot mp4 <laughs> it had the whole file name oh my, oh my did you did God. you write them back and say like I'm so sorry hey it wasn't me I like, showed hey, up to the headquarters porn. I just named it that <laughs> 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 so that my wife wouldn't righteous see it righteous gemstones <laughs> Uh, All right, and so okay. what, what gave me joy is uh, today I went to the New York Auto Show at the Javits Center, and I got to sit in a bunch of wonderful new cars that are coming out this year. Did they smell good as fuck? No, they smelled like everybody else who was in there. It was a wonderful <laughs> crowd. Everybody was going in and out of cars like sheep going into something and coming out of the other one, of the <laughs> end of it. And um, it yeah, I felt I left with a crazy headache because it's just – you know, 5,000 people all getting in and out of cars together, all touching the same steering wheel. And it's like the yeah. most interesting group of people who look like kind of biker gang people and then a bunch of Hasidic kids running all over the place like Disney bugs and then a bunch of people doing sh- performances. It was wonderful. And shout out to um, shout out to Volkswagen. I like their cars. Interesting. On Passover. No, that was last week. Okay. But... <laughs> Well, so you spring, history, spring has come. Now, and cool. now it's just all right again. 
Well, there's a funny thing about the Jews is that right, that was in the past. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brace. The funny thing about the Jews. <laughs> yeah, it's the first thought. I mean, it's just... Is that that shit didn't ha- doesn't, isn't going on anymore? That's the f- what? It's a fun. That's a f- all right. Thank I like God. Jewish people. I am one, and I'm really good at um, sticking up for us in these moments like this. You are. Fuck you, Kanye. You really you are. are. You really Kanye, are. Kanye, don't are ever, that. don't ever disrespect me. They should have me talk to him. A sit yeah, down well, with you. Yeah, sit down. A round table. You, would you sit Jonah down Hill? with him, Brace? Would you? I if you- easily would sit down with him. Chop easily it up. Would sit down with him. I would say this. There's, we're not so bad. Oh, that's a good one. I would say a lot of people don't like us. He starts crying. Yeah, and I understand that we did um, things to you. He samples you on his next song. Yeah, <laughs> but but I'll say this: there's no greater uh, contributors to rap music Damn. than Jewish people. Little hmm. Dicky. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Drake. Beastie Kelly. Boys. The Beastie Gun Boys. Kelly. Drake. Drake. Exactly. Drake. Um, Akon, yeah, um, Jesus, mm-hmm. Christ, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, for me, what sparked joy this week? Yes, Mary Kondo style. Although I don't want to. Oh, that's a good point. Really oh, segue yeah. with that. That's okay. No, I've never thought about that. Uh, well, she's she's gone anyways. Who she's died. She, well, she's passed. Whether that means Kondo? she physically died or just passed out of the... Oh, she's oh okay. The she's, it's later. It's, now yeah, it's yeah. joy it's tactics. It's sort right. of a thing worse than death. Sure. Uh, I've seen Shen Yun. Oh, yeah. Oh, my see. God. That was, that was the, kind of the only fun thing I've done this week. And I had a wonderful time. Did they have I got snacks? To talk to, what? Did they have snacks there? <laughs> no, they really did not want you to eat or drink in the theater. But I did buy a very expensive nuts for Liz, and she ate them uh, quietly. Uh, and then the, the people behind us just ate chips that they brought into the, into the <laughs> loud, so, crunchy chips, yeah, really yeah. loud chips. Oh, well, hopefully they were God. doing it on the beat. Um, but uh, but I had a great time. Um, I don't recommend anyone see it, but uh, I recommend imagining what it would be like and then taking joy from that thought. Wow! God, damn. And what is that? Uh, I would say it's a. It was a dance that they reenacted organ harvesting. No, did oh. they really? Yeah, they had like. Uh, Several like Falun Gong practitioners in China that was like it was like reenacting like doing like a protest pro Falun Gong in China and then they had policemen dance out uh, onto the stage, beat them up, take them to what appeared to be Auschwitz, uh, hmm. killed them, My and then God. had doctors come out and what dance the harvest their organs. Were the organs like ribbons? No, I was oh. really disappointed. I thought they were gonna like, but it was it was I gotta say really low budget and that there was no set. There was a big green screen behind or like a like a like a crazy like screen behind them that they would yeah. interact with sometimes they would jump over this thing and then oh. they would fly away on the screen into the sky oh, that's nice uh which is a cool effect but they didn't have any props on the stage the entire time except for a few swords yeah it that's sounds a trend. pretty so i'll say this choose for yourself if you'd like to go see shen yun yeah because it could be one of the best days of your lives it could be but it's statistically probably not <laughs> and sometimes sometimes the worst day you could have had is the worst day you've ever had is the best day you could have well, thank you, Brace, for coming wow. on Joy Tactics. It's been thank a you so yeah. much. This is our this is our yes. second celebrity on. Thanks, Brace. Second yeah. celebrity. Who's the first one? Sarah, Sarah, your oh, neighbor. She your neighbor. also passed. Yeah, she also passed. No, I didn't last want to night. tell you guys now, but yeah, Sarah. Sarah, indeed. <laughs> no, we saw night. she. We uh, saw, we she, saw she, she jumped off the stage she, on SNL. Yeah, she didn't make it. She jumped oh, off. Right, I forgot about that. Andy Milanakis ate her. Okay, all right. He ate her like a T bone snake. No. No. Peace and love, everybody. <laughs> well, that concludes another incredible fucking episode of Joy Tactics. Head over to patreoncom tactics to unlock exclusive weekly bonus episodes, and make sure to follow us on social media where we post fire TikToks and hilarious shit like that. And if you loved the shit you just listened to make sure to subscribe, rate, and leave us a review. Thanks for listening and remember, we are shaped by our thoughts, we become what we think. When the mind is pure, joy follows like a shadow that never leaves.